right, we are in the car on the way to Coachella. So excited. Did my hair and makeup for the most part back at home and I'm meeting my friend Kayla. I'm staying with her this week and we're staying at, I don't even know what hotel. I'll have to like link it below or something. But yeah, we're staying at a hotel for tonight. Just gonna stay one night. It's Saturday today. We have an event around noon if we make it on time. We also are going to Revolve today, so very exciting stuff. Hopefully we can get a wristband for Coachella today and tomorrow. Let's fucking hope so that we can actually go to the festival. So we're just gonna see if like someone just passes off the wristband and just doesn't feel like going. So now I am driving, I'm about an hour out, and I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know what's up. So yeah, I'm so excited! Let's go to Coachella! got to the hotel and we just checked in. Yay! This is Kayla. <laughs> We're about to go get into our room, drop all our stuff off and finish getting ready. We're at the Marriott Vacation Club and literally we have to get, use the gate to get in. I'm just like, okay. This is so fancy you guys. We just got to our hotel room we got an early check-in and they upgraded us which we're so excited about like we originally didn't have a balcony I, I just have to show you guys so hold on let's do a little tour <laughs> so excited you first walk in and this is the door to the bathroom that you can actually access through the bedroom as well we also have like a little kitchen um, I already put some stuff in the fridge fully stocked with snacks and we have an oven you guys like if we wanted to cook a whole ass meal in here we could um but yeah we have a little kitchen dining room and a living room ah! and a fireplace are you kidding me this is our view it looks out onto the golf course this pulls out into a bed so we might have a couple more people stay on the pull out bed tonight then you can come into the bedroom king size bed we have like chairs and everything and look at this bathtub is in the room the sink She's in the bathroom right now. <laughs> ah! Crazy! Oh, there's another sink in here. It's literally perfect. Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, this is this door goes yes. out. Toilet, obviously. Yeah. Shower is nice. This is stunning. This is literally um, exactly what we needed. This is like, we can take like some cool fucking pictures here too. Oh, yeah. ah! Okay, um, then the balcony. Should we open that up yes. and see what it looks like? All right. And we have this little seating area out here. And there's a little chair if we wanted to lay out and tan. And this is the view, you guys. This place is insane. Wow, wow, wow. We really just got so lucky. Like, lucky girl syndrome right now. We got upgraded. Hopefully we can get some free tickets to go down. <laughs> We're trying. Um, yeah, so I need to get ready right now. And um, we'll check in later. Bye. <laughs> All right, here is my outfit show you in this lighting this is the shoes that I'm wearing pants are from Amazon top is from revolve hat is from Amazon and the hair like giving space cowgirl um, this is from INH the hair that was earlier in the vlog at pretty little thing that they did on me I literally reused it so ah, I'm so excited this is such a good outfit Okay, let's go. As of the beat drops? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know when you wanted to come in the drop or before it. You want me to come in at the doom, doom, doom? No, this is okay. fine. Cute. Is that cute? Thank you, yes. All right, we are on our way to Revolve now. We went to Opali. It was weird vibes, you guys. We got really weird vibes. I don't know. Like,
like no one greeted us. No one greeted us when we walked in. There was just like I don't know influencers being typical influencers. I feel like it was like really it's not the vibe. Bad like negative energy. <laughs> so we kind of like got our stuff and left. So now we're going to Revolve. I'm really excited for Revolve. I think it's gonna be like super fun. It's gonna be a fun. It's gonna be so fun. I hope someone performs. I really hope so. I would be pretty shocked if there's none. After I'm manifesting Drake. Turn right onto Fingers crossed. Madison. We're also looking for tickets, so. Like desperately let's, Like let's hope searching. she get a ticket. <laughs> it's gonna be like so annoying if I don't. I swear, if we get free tickets today, you guys, I will I'm will. i never have... questioning manifestation no, ever again. Right. Anyways, that's the plan right now. We're heading to Revolve. It started an hour ago, but I think this is a good time to show up. I hope so. I hope we're not too late. I feel like... No, I think we'll be okay. After one I feel like I get so much anxiety. Like, I know. <laughs> we have to, once we're in there, it'll be like, okay, good. you know. Perfect. So, yeah, okay, we'll check in when we get to Revolve. Pulling up to Revolve in the desk. This is the situation right now. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Double doubles. This vibe. Cheers. <laughs> oh my god. Yum. I'm really so hungry. We need to eat tomorrow. We get like pretty much free food all day tomorrow though. Mm -hmm. We have to take advantage. Revolve is always such small portions. I'm like, no. Double double. No onions, extra pickles, major key. I'm not sure the plan yet. She's going to Coachella. I don't have a wristband. Honestly, isn't the end of the world, I don't really care. If I get to see Frank tomorrow, like amazing, but if I don't, like it's not a big deal. Um, maybe we'll end up going to something else, I don't know, but I'm not mad about it. I can sit here and like entertain myself. Odessa? What? I heard that's like the best set ever. It is amazing. They're amazing. I saw them at Voodoo. It's amazing. When are they going on? 11, 10, 10 30. <sighs> oh my god, they're so good. I need to go. We need to get you a freaking pass. Yeah, I love Odessa. Like, it is, I'm not kidding. It was like one of the best sets I've ever seen in my life. No, like, we need to find you. It was insane. GA right now. Okay, so update. Um, I wasn't able to find a ticket or a wristband or whatever. So everybody else left and I need to take off my makeup and take out my hair, but 
successful day i'm not even mad about it the lineup is not even like my vibe odessa would have been really fun to see but i don't know like i've already seen them and it was like a fun experience but i don't know i'm like i'm not like a festival kind of girly i don't know i think that's just like not my vibe um so i'm not even mad about it it's totally fine um and i just sat here and like edited pictures and started posting on like instagram and just doing stuff i know that i'm gonna have to do tomorrow i just don't have to worry about it tomorrow so yeah basically i'm not even mad um so i'm gonna take out my hair literally you guys the relief that i fucking feel right now taking this shit out of my head i can't even get it out of my shit Wait, but while i take this out ah, jesus christ i'll tell you guys about revolve today um it was so fun but it was just like a lot of walking and like kind of it was really dusty like i'm sure i'm covered in dirt i'm not even gonna shower until tomorrow i don't even care um it's not my bed i'm sleeping in but we went to revolve and that was fun and we actually saw like a couple celebrities there like i saw shane mitchell was there she was taking pictures and that's cool um who else did i see let's see um i saw noah beck and I saw David Dobrik today. And you guys, I saw Leonardo DiCaprio. Well, I saw the back of his head. Oh, Leo DiCaprio, are you fucking around with me? Like, so crazy. So, uh, the relief that my head feels is crazy. So yeah, we saw Leo. That's crazy. Ice Spice performed. And we were like, and then everybody started leaving. And we went up to like a couple of the Revolve staff and we were like, hey, because they were trying to keep the lineup a secret. And we were like, hey, like, should we leave or is there someone else going to perform? And we called it. We remember, and I don't know if it was in this vlog or if it was just on our phone, but we were like, oh yeah, we think either Drake's going to perform or John Tolliver. Guess who it was? John fucking Tolliver. We knew it. But Drake better be on tomorrow anyways i'm gonna walk my makeup walk i'm gonna wash my makeup off and get in bed because i'm trying to be up early tomorrow good morning you guys so we are about to check out of the hotel and head to a clinic event and then i'm going to soho house i'm meeting up with my friend mayan and then we're gonna go to revolve and then coachella i got a coachella wristband so i am going to see frank ocean tonight i'm so excited like i love him so much and he never performs so this is so special to me um anyways so we are rushing to check out we're taking all of our content and i am going to change into the rest of my outfit when we get there because i just don't want to mess up a skirt but it's this pink skirt over here but yeah i'm about to take everything down to the car oh we are in a rush i'm winded so yeah just wanted to give you guys an update and i'll check in once we get on the road <laughs> of like the moisture surge products which yes. we need in the desert heat um we were planning on going to soho house but there's an issue with the tickets or whatever um so we are just gonna go to coachella tonight um i'm gonna go to revolve later too so we'll see and going to see frank ocean which let's see if michaela I survives will, in one i know piece. i'm gonna be a moment gonna cry it's gonna be a, it's, it's a, a moment, moment. It's what, it's it's, like, i'm actually know, gonna cry you guys? he never performs i don't know exactly. if you guys are fans of him but it's like it's a big guys like he got me through out. some shit in college like one of those artists, artists that like mean a lot to you they just mm -hmm. like when you get to perform it's yeah for the soul and it's like one of those ones where you just like know every song every lyric and you're just like yeah just let it all in yeah like the sun here but though it's beautiful it's been hot this 
weekend, yeah. but at least there's a little bit of wind yeah. today. But this event is beautiful. Oh my god, yeah, let me show you guys the event. MTV tour. Hey guys, welcome to my crib. They're, they're doing makeup over there, so we might do makeup in a second here. Pool and stuff over here, all this kind of stuff. So pretty. There's a small, I'm trying to look for the smaller one. Ah, I love it so much. Thank you so Glad much. Glad you love. Yay, thank Up you. Hi, this is what the lighting's better than mine. Just got some eye glitters. All right, a little update. I changed into my next outfit. I'm sitting in line for Revolve round two. I'm shaking, I'm so hungry. I literally like forget to eat when I am out and about doing things. So I need to like go in and immediately get food. Like it's just, I'm shaking. So first priority is food, excuse me. Then second priority is finding my friends. Yeah, going into Revolve. And then after that, I'm gonna go see Frank Ocean. I'm so excited. But 21 Savage was so cool. I thought someone else was gonna come out. I hoped Drake would because you know they're going on tour together, but um, it didn't end up happening. So yeah, um, now I am about to head and pick up my friend Mayan. And well, you met her early in the vlog, and we're gonna go to see Frank Ocean. Very exciting. He doesn't come on until like 10. But we want to like be able to get in there and like get water and like I might get some like food or something. I don't know. I don't really want. Excuse me. Don't want to spend money, but I need like water. Definitely. I have water here, but it's like hot. So. I also want to change into like comfier clothes. Um, yeah. I need to like not have the clothes I'm, I have. And it's a 30 minute drive right now. All right, let's go. Checking in. We're walking in because we had to get right here. The lots are full. <laughs> because I, we tried to park because I had a preferred parking pass. Did it work? Had to go all the way Literally. back around and we got sent home. So it is currently 9.09. .09. Frank's on at 10. We are hustling. Yep. Yes, we are. But we're gonna make Who's it. Calling me? Oh, right, check in. Oh. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a message saying your ride's been stopped for a while. Oh. We just wanted to check in. Yeah, because we're in Coachella traffic. <laughs> we don't move. Oh my god, wow. Wait, I that it was... just shows you how bad Coachella traffic is, is that Uber calls they, you like, to make sure me. that you're like, okay. you need help? Are you like, good? Girl, <laughs> you okay, sis? Like, are, are you good? I've like, never heard. Have you guys ever heard Uber calling you like that? I've never gotten a call from Uber. Um, I've gotten like a text. You have? Yeah. I've gotten text, but never a call. I, but yeah, we're about to have a break. Let's go! Let's see. <laughs> we're going on a break. <laughs> oh, fast. Fast. We're making it to break. Yeah. <laughs> we got Onward. it. Hold on in the back. Okay. <laughs> We're all like fast. Oh, sir. <laughs> he said fast, he wasn't kidding. For the plot. For the plot. One minute. We'll see if he actually comes out. Uh, ten or five. <laughs> Oh, 
talk to me and talking down Can't you see I am the big man Bar level, I am the eye Bar level, I am the eye I'm so tired you guys we just got back it's like 2 a.m it's actually 2 30 i just took a shower and um i'm literally gonna go to sleep right now checking in for the last time um uh, got my starbucks and literally got the last breakfast item that they had in the freaking store because it's so busy right now got a uh, venti brown sugar shaken espresso it's bringing me back to life got water and ready to hit the road although it's gonna be like a three hour drive home it's crazy because of the traffic right now i wanted to do a little recap real quick from the night before i get going but we um ended up sitting in traffic drove back to her house and her house is like maybe eight minutes from, like literally at four miles away from actual coachella and because all of the roads were closed where we couldn't get back to her house so it, like we spent an hour in the car like roaming around I finally got back at like one in the morning mm, maybe two i um took a shower because i was like not about to get in bed like disgusting like that and then um got to bed at like 3 a.m and so i decided to stay of course i wasn't gonna drive home that's crazy i was initially gonna drive home but whatever um ended up staying um best decision because i literally feel like i'm hungover today because i'm so freaking tired and this coffee i didn't have coffee yesterday either i can't do that i need coffee also frank ocean oh you're gonna hear some mixed reviews about it i love him I kind of wish I stayed for the whole set, but we really didn't want to like, like wait hours and hours to get home. So we left a little bit early. Um, but his set was very, I think it was like supposed to be like artistic and his was more like stripped down, kind of looked like the studio, like very industrial kind of vibes and kind of showed like the process of making music. And I thought that was really cool to show that, but I think he like, I don't know, he like left a lot of spaces in between his songs. It was like complete silence. Not to mention, he came on an hour late. Like it's a Sunday night, it's day three of Coachella. Everybody's trying to go home. Everybody's got to work in the morning. He had like a lot of like spaces in between his songs. Like he, we would sit there in silence for like maybe not, sometimes five minutes between each song. And um, nothing like flowed. Um, he would end a song and like abruptly start a new one or just end it and it would be silent. It was the weirdest thing ever. It was very underwhelming, I'm really sad, but I did get to hear Nights, which is my favorite song by Frank Ocean. And he played it like exactly how it should be played. Except for the end, it like did one of those like abruptly changing into a new, a new song, which I was like, oh, why do you do that? But Nights was like perfect. Honestly, like I, I'm so glad he at least did that, right? It was a little bit disappointing, but I'm just happy to be able to see him. He was still amazing. He has the voice of a freaking angel. And that is my little Coachella recap. Now I'm sitting in the car, I'm about to drive home. It's gonna be a three inch hour drive because of traffic. And yeah, just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this Coachella vlog. Stay tuned because I have a couple of fun things coming up next week. I'm going to do like a staycation in San Diego. So I'll like take you through um, that and like all the recommendations for that area after that. We're going on our trip to Europe. So exciting. Um, yay. So yeah, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe down below. Comment your favorite part of the vlog. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, love you. Let